Hello friends, my name is Pratik and welcome back to my channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you if you are using WhatsApp payment in WhatsApp application, then if you want to do a transaction by scanning a QR code. So how can you scan a QR and do the payment? All the steps are guided in this video. So if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And without wasting any time, let's start the video. To scan a QR code and do a payment in WhatsApp, all you have to do is you have to open application first. Once the application is completely started, this is the kind of interface you will be able to see on your mobile screen. So you have to click on three vertical dot or you have to select three vertical dots which are present at the right hand side top corner. After selecting that, you will get multiple options over here as you can see on the screen right now. But you have to select payments option in that. After selecting payment option, we are on the next page and on this page, you can see there are multiple details. You can see your name and UPI ID as well as you have an option to send payment. You have an option to scan payment with QR code. You will be able to see uh, the pending request. If you are generated a money request uh, in application, you will be able to see it over here. And below that, you will be able to see all your transaction history. And if you scroll down, you will be able to see the accounts which you have already added in the application. So to scan a QR code and to do a payment, all you have to do is you have to select scan payment QR option. After selecting that we are on the next page and as you can see, you can see there is a square option over here. You have to scan the QR code over here. Currently it is black, but I will show you a QR code on the screen right now and I will be scanning this from this particular device over here. So let's switch to the QR code. So you can see a QR code on the screen right now. I am scanning this QR code with my device. So QR is successfully scanned and after scanning the QR code, you will get an option send or request payment. You have to click on that. And once the UPI ID is verified, you have, we are on the next page. We are on the payments page right now. So you can enter the amount over here at the top. You will be able to see your bank account and the person's name of which you have uh, the code which you have scanned, you will be able to see that person's name over there. And after entering all the details, you can click on next option over here. So if I want to transfer a particular amount over here, uh, yeah, for testing purpose, I will transfer 1000 rupees and I will click on next option. Now on this page, you can see you, uh, you get two option. So the person's name to whom I'm transferring the amount and the particular bank ID over here. And if I want to change the bank ID, I can select, I can tap on that bank and I can change the bank ID from here. But I want to keep Kotak Mahindra bank only. And you can see the amount at the bottom and I will click on send payment right now. So after that, you have to click on continue. And after that, we are on the final page. And on this page, you have to enter six digit UPI pin. Once the UPI pin is entered, the transaction will be completed. So I will enter the UPI pin and I will show you. So I have entered the UPI pin and now you can see on the next page, the payment is completed. So I have transferred thousand rupees to that particular account from for which I have scanned the QR code. And also you can see the bank message at the top. So I'll just remove that. So you will also be able to see the date and the time of transaction and the person's name to whom I'm transferred the amount and from which bank account the amount is debited. I will be able to check over here and you do get a transaction ID over here. So these are the simple steps you have to follow if you want to scan a QR code and if you want to do a payment in WhatsApp payments. So that's pretty much it for today's video guys. If you like this video, you can hit that like button. You can share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.